And now this operating costing, your 5 marks small thing, you are supposed to find out total passenger kilometer. We are not calculating cost per kilometer, we are calculating only the total passenger kilometer. Easiest way, whatever given in the information, everything copy and replace with numbers, then you multiply. Number of buses for 40, days operated, it is 26, excluding Sunday. Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 2 of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are discussing Operating Costing. So, in the previous session, I discussed about what is Operating Costing. Most of the things, service sectors comes under Operating Costing. And in this, you will get 5 mark questions as well as 10 mark questions. How your 5 mark questions will be and how your 10 mark questions will be. Now, under this operating costing, your 5 mark small thing, you are supposed to find out total passenger kilometer. And your 10 mark question, the cost of total passenger kilometer per kilometer what is the cost that is your 10 mark and total kilometer calculation will be 5 mark today we'll close all the 5 mark problems we'll work out three problems of 5 marks and those are sufficient for your examination next session we go with all 10 mark questions so agenda is very simple we'll go with concept as well as problems problem one travels a transport company is running a fleet of 20 buses between two towns 80 kilometers part. Part means one side. Now, seating capacity of each bus is 50 passenger. Carried were 90 person, even though 50 passengers can occupy, but 90 percent only what? Your capacity. Then, of the seating capacity, each bus makes one round trip per day. Per day, how many trips it runs? One. Buses run on all the days of the month, February 2021. Calculate total passenger kilometer. See, we are not calculating cost per kilometer. We are calculating only total passenger kilometer. Hope you are clear. We are not calculating total cost. We are calculating total kilometer. That's why it is 5 mark question. Now, so I'll go for the answer for this. Now, we'll write one by one. Running fleet of how many buses? 20 buses. Number of buses multiplied with between two towns 80 kilometers apart distance multiplied with. After distance, we have seating capacity seating capacity 50 and how many seats are occupied 90 percent seating capacity after this we have 50 then each bus makes one round number of trips number of trips after that, buses run all the days of the month of February. February 2021, how many days you will get? 28 days. Now, multiplied with number of days. Hope you are clear. Clear? Yes. Now, number of buses, how many buses are there? There are 20 buses are there. Multiply distance. How what is the distance? 80 kilometer apart. So it will be 80 plus 80. Then after this seating capacity. Seating capacity will be how much? Yes, 50 passengers and 90 percent were occupied. Now it will be 50 passengers and 90 percent were occupied remember this is the easiest way then 
After this, buses run all the days of the month. How many days it worked? In case of February, it must be 28. If it is 2020, then it must be how much? 29. So it will be how many days? Number of trips will go first. One round, one round trip per day means only one. And number of trips is over, number of days, it is 28. Hope any doubt, no doubt. In this, again, we'll simplify 20, 80 plus 80, 160, 50 into 90 percent, it will be 45 and it will be 1 and it will be 28. Now, so we'll calculate this. So how much you will get? So in this, we get 20 into 160 into 45 into 1 into 28. I got around 40 lakh 32,000. 40 lakh 32,000. Hope you are clear. So it is a simple calculation. Simple calculation. 20, 160, 45, 1 and 28. Now, if you calculate this, again I will do once again. So number of buses 20 into number of members 160. Uh, it is not number of members, it is a distance. Then it will be 90% of 50 will be 45 into 1 into number of days 28. I got 40,32,000. So this is all about your calculation problem number one answer. Now we'll go for problem number two. It is similar to this. As I told you, five mark questions are all simple like this. Now I'll go to problem number two. Calculate kilometers and the total passenger kilometer from the following for one month. Whatever we are calculating this for month. Now, we have number of buses, we have days operated in a month 30, number of trips 4, and distance between two cities 40, capacity of each bus 50 passenger, average pa passenger traveling is 80% capacity, we will go for this. Number of buses, number of buses multiplied with Days operated in a month. Days operated. Then number of trips per day. So it will be four. Number of trips. Then after the distance between two cities. Distance. Then, average passenger, so number of passengers, number of passengers. Hope you are clear, these are the information we have now. In this, number of buses, how much we have? 20. Multiplied with, so in this problem it is not 20, it is 4, I will change that. It is 4. Days operated. Days operated, it is 30. Number of trips. Number of trips they have mentioned, it is 4 trip. Distance. Distance we have around between two cities, 40 kilometers. 40 plus 40, it will be 80. 40 plus 40 into number of passengers. We have 50 passenger at 80% capacity. Now it will be 50 passenger at 80% capacity. Now again I'll go back one by one. It will be 4. It will be 30. And it will be 4. 40 plus 40 it is 80 into 50 into 80%. I'll get around 40. I'll cross check once. 50 into 80 percent. I got around 40. Now, 
will multiply everything. So it will be 4 into 30 into 4 into 80 into 40. I got 15 lakh 36 thousand. 15 lakh 36 thousand. This is your calculation. Hope you are clear. So, easiest way, whatever given in the information, everything copy and replace with numbers, then you multiply. Remember, the percentage you can consider for the final answer, or else you can directly take for the number of seat capacity on that 80%. Now, I'll go for the last one, the last problem for the day. Now, in this, Calculate kilometers and the total passenger kilometer from the following for one month. Now, number of buses for 40, days operated it is 26, excluding Sunday. Number of trips per day it is 2, distance 30 kilometer one side. Means two side it will be how much? 30 plus 30, 60. Unless and until they mention round trip, we have to multiply into 2. If they mention clearly that round trip, then we will not add 30 plus 30. Other than the word round trip, every problem add 30 plus 30, 80 plus 80, 40 plus 40, like that. Okay. Now, capacity of each bus, 50 passenger. Average passenger capacity, it is 80% capacity. Now, in this, we'll go one by one. Number of buses, 40. Number of buses, multiply. Days operated in a month. Days operated, multiply. Then number of trips per day. It will be number of trips then multiply so it will be distance distance it is one side distance multiply so capacity of each bus capacity now we'll go one by one number of buses number of buses we have 40 Multiplied with days operated. Days operated, it is in a month, it is 26. Multiply number of trips. Number of trips per day, it is two trip. It will be two and distance 30 kilometer one side. So 30 kilometer one side means 30 plus 30 into capacity the capacity of each bus 50 passenger at 80 percent 50 passenger at 80 percent so these are the calculation we have so it will be 40 26 to 30 plus 30 it will be 60 and 50 into 80 percent 50 into 80 percent I got 40. Now we'll multiply everything. 40 multiplied with 26 into 2 into 60 into 40. I got 49,92,000. 49 lakh 92,000. Hope you are clear. So this is what total passenger kilometer you have to mention. Total passenger kilometer. Every answer you have to mention the total passenger kilometer. I'll go back to previous slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your problem number one. Your solution part. Problem number two. Solution part. Problem three. Solution part. 
Hope you are clear with today's class. It was easy actually. Five mark compulsory question, and for your ten mark question, these are these are part of your answer actually. For ten mark question, you have to do this. After that, you have extension. We'll do in the next session. You will understand better. Thank you.